government, but we're not the government. We're the opposition. All we can do is criticize the government and say, go faster, go faster, go faster. And believe me, that, that we are saying in the parliament every day. So how can community help you to push the government? Well, you can uh, make noise, uh, uh, tell uh, the ministers uh, to act more quickly. The construction unions, the construction, the home builders are all getting this message across is that each people have, the Palestinians and Israelis, cannot be solved by military means. The eventual solution has to be two states uh, living side by side in peace. Uh, Canada can make it, is already making a contribution to the security of the Palestinians by working with a Fatah organization to build the security forces there. We also have a role in, in relation to the refugee problem. We also have a role in terms of humanitarian reconstruction and assistance in Gaza, in places that were destroyed during the recent military action. But we have to make very clear, unequivocally clear, that the attitude of the current Iranian regime towards the state of Israel is unacceptable. Uh, uh, Iran need not love Israel. Iran need not like Israel. But Iran must accept that Israel is a permanent feature of the landscape of the Middle East and has a right to exist in peace and freedom. Uh, equally, equally, just to finish off, the Palestinians have a right to a state. Those are positions that the Liberal Party has taken for 50 years, and I stand by them 100%. And if Iran is willing to accept the existence of Israel in the region, I am sure that we can begin to have better and more productive relations, and Iran can play a productive uh, relationship uh, in the Middle East, but it must begin with recognition of the right of the state of Israel to exist, and then we must move towards a two-state solution. So, we need the uh, request for one promise. When you get on the uh, screen of 2010, you, when you are elected as Prime Minister of Canada, we would like to have the first interview with you. We need, <laughs> <laughs> we need, no, we need that yeah. because <laughs> yes, well, I'd be happy to come back and have, I'm meeting with them uh, constantly to make sure that uh, we get the message out to government. And we have learned from this that there was a faster way to get money out, which was to give it to the municipalities, give it to the mayors, through the gas tax transfer. It's a little technical, a little complicated, but there are ways to get the money out faster, which the government chose not to use. And we're very critical of that. We think that they are holding up the money that would get the construction industry going again. We are critical of that, and uh, if it doesn't improve, um, we, will, we, will have, uh, we will have difficulty continuing to work with them in Parliament. Now right now is Mr. Ignatiev, right now is the war time. Well, hopefully it is economical war. I mean that when we follow you that uh, they are not listening. Uh, the government has been um, very slow to act on the crisis. Right through the autumn, they did almost nothing. We had to force them to act and give us a budget that would get money into the economy. They didn't get the budget until the end of January. We voted it as quickly as possible so the money would start flowing last week on the 1st of April. They didn't spend the money they could have spent in last year's budget. Um, and we are saying, get the money into the system fast. Um, and uh, if they fail to do that, uh, we will not be able to continue to support the government. Uh, I'm not threatening the government. I'm not saying I'm going to force us to have an election. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying we can't go on like this. We will be in a situation, in a, if, if they don't give us an option, then we will have to have an election. I am trying to make Parliament work. Canadians don't want an election. What they want is to make Parliament work to get the money into the economy. But if the uh, government doesn't do that, uh, we're going to have a problem. So I've been saying this for months. I'm not saying anything new to you now that I've been saying for months. Uh, what is the need? Is there any new policy on by the Liberal and you under your leadership to outreach the grassroots of communities? Do you have a well, I'm, I'm talking to you today. That's part of it. It's very important for us to uh, meet with uh, media representatives from all the communities across Canada. I wish I spoke uh, Farsi. I wish I could speak to you in your own language. I've been to Iran many times, all once, and I 
it is an unforgettable visit. I feel a, a great closeness. It's a great civilization. I have a number of those.